Hey guys, Crown Jewel 602 and I'm coming to you guys today with an e.l.f. haul, of course, as you guys can see by the title. Um, so e.l.f. had their half off all studio products um, sale through the email, so I decided there was a few things that I had been looking at and wanting to pick up and I thought if it's half price, now's the time. So um, then inside that is the bag like this, the little e.l.f. bag with all your products in it. So we'll just get right into what exactly I purchased from them. So the first thing is a um, matte lip color, and this was this one is a nearly nude. This is the packaging. That's what the color looks like that they say. And I will swatch this. I have another one of these in praline that I really liked. I like the consistency. I didn't so much like the color, so I've decided to try another one. And again, I love the consistency, but the color is way too stark on me, as you can see. I'm actually wearing it today. Um, what if it was, if these are normally, um, I think $3, I got it for $1.50. So the next thing I had been lusting over, now I have my um, NYX concealer, the NYX uh, whatever concealer that I have, and I absolutely love it, but um, I had been looking at this uh, for quite some time, and it's the Complete Coverage Concealer in Dark. And because it was a palette, because I can play with the contrast, the contours, and things of my face. And so, um, here's what it looks like. You get four colors, two darker ones that aren't, they look the same maybe on camera, but they're not. And then two lighter ones. And you get a little thing like this. Like I said, $3, um, but I got it for $1.50. And I'm wearing the concealer right now. Now, it, the concealer tends to look a bit ashy on me. That's the problem for uh, um, African-American women and concealer, at least the dark-skinned African-American women. But, um, and this is the concealer that I actually am wearing today. But what I did was I put the concealer on before my foundation so that it would help it to blend more. The next thing that I got, which was one of the, one of the things that I had been wanting to get, um, for a while and it's the flawless finish foundation and it is uh how many ounces 0.8 ounces and it's an spf of 15 it comes in a package like this i really really like the packaging and the best thing about it is that this is like glass i guess but it's like a frosted glass like where you can't really break it and then the best feature about it is the pump I will say, because I've tried to try all of these, and um, I will say that like half a squirt will do you. Like, But other than that, I, I'm wearing it today. I really, really like the coverage um, because I'm more of a lighter coverage girl. I think that I could have gotten a better coverage if I would have done two coats, but um, I like this like this. Now, however, I tried to use like a buffing brush to put this on the very first time, and it came out too much it just didn't look good but I used my little beauty blender and I wet it and it came out like it looks now which I think looks great so it's normally six dollars and I got it for three so this was like one of the main reasons and I got it I love it elf eyebrow kit and I got it in dark and it has sort of a powder and then sort of like a wax is it a wax or a gel hmm gel eyebrow gel so as you guys can see, I've used the brow gel. I did not use it today. Um, I, I, this, I don't like powders, but however, I did really like this. Um, it was easy to work with when I tried to use it when I used it yesterday. However, the only problem I have with it is it does look a bit shiny. The next thing that I got, let's see. Oh, I got the Lash Extending Mascara. Now, because I have the volumizing and lengthening, so I decided to try the Lash Extending, and it, it says it has fibers in it. It's a fiber-infused formula. So the brush is one of those really prickly brushes. One side's kind of longer than the other, as you guys can see, and it, it's a little bit. Um, I would say that this does lengthen your lashes. However, it's just like, it's like your natural lash is longer. So like almost like how you use clear mascara. It's kind of like that. It doesn't give you any volume whatsoever. Like, I mean, and I know that it doesn't say volume, um, but I mean, it, I mean nothing. So, if, okay, so this is the Tinted Moisturizer SPF of 20 and my color is Espresso. I use this all the time. It's actually the only Tinted Moisturizer I really, really love. Um, it's a great color match for me, which is always hard to find. And um, I like the way it feels on my face and I like the color. So I haven't even, I haven't had to open this. This one's just my backup. So, yeah. 
Then the next thing that I purchased was this e.l.f. press powder. Um, Little Kiva uses the e.l.f. press powder to set her foundation. And um, I decided to try it. I kind of don't like it. Um, this is the color. It's cocoa, the same color as the foundation. And it's super powdery. Like, it's so, it feels so soft. It's very soft. But it's almost like too soft. Um, that's it right here swatched on my hand, but it's a really good color match But so the next thing that I got um, were two blushes and they actually look really really similar So this this I'll show you the blushes here. Hold on. Let me get them open Okay, so this blush is blushing rose right here and then this blush is Berry Mary Now they look a lot alike I think the Berry Mary is a little darker. So I'm gonna swatch the Blushing Rose on this finger. You guys can see that. And then, hold on, I'll put them close together. And then there's the Berry Mary. You guys can see, they look, I mean, to me, they look a lot alike. Uh, however, they look completely different on the face, let me tell you. So, it's gold. Like, all of the pink pigment in this, um, blush wears off and it's just a completely shimmery gold weird look like it might be able to be used as some sort of highlighter i'm thinking about really using it as an eyeshadow um it's just gold like it really completely washes all the pink out and it comes out gold this one i like because it's like a nice rosy peak as you pink as you guys can see on my face and it just has a hint of shimmer but not anything overwhelming and so i really am happy with the berry mary I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, Barry Mary. Okay, and the last thing that I got is, like, something that is so weird. I've seen this one on, um, gosh, it's another, like, Irish girl. What is her name? Oh, she has braces. Ah, can't think of it. Um, gosh, what is it? It's like something makeup. Anyway, um, she had this, and she used it with the MAC Stars and Rocket eyeshadow. And it's the e.l.f. eyeshadow uh, transformer. Now, you look at it, and it's like, it doesn't look like anything. Like, I opened it, and I was like, what? This thing's crazy. It's like... Okay, so sorry about that. My camera cut off. But anyway, I strongly, strongly suggest you guys try this and play around with it because it's insane. Like, I'm really happy with it. Apparently, I ordered one more thing, but it didn't come, and it said clear. And I think it was some sort of glitter um, sealant that I ended up not getting because it was out of stock. So, so for these 10 products, I it, plus shipping, I paid, oh, it doesn't say on here, but it was like $22. So anyway, that's my e.l.f. haul. Since my camera cut off, I believe it's probably more than 10 minutes. I'm so sorry, but it's a haul slash first impressions as well because I did try to use everything um, in the haul, you know, before I showed it to you guys. So anyway, as usual, um, guys, I hope you stay beautiful. And uh, sorry I haven't been recording. And up next will be June or July. July favorite. So until next time, guys, stay beautiful. Peace, YouTube.